just an Ethelbert which we created in a previous section. Okay. Into that, yeah. Okay, so you managed to get from here to here, which was the plan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's the next step? Uh, so the original route that we got, so the original recipe, if you like, to make this molecule was from a patent that was referenced on Wikipedia. Now, of course, we checked to see whether it looked reasonable. We don't just follow things that are on Wikipedia. But the, the route that was up actually had one step that involved a really dangerous chemical. So with help from their teacher um, and advice from open source malaria, the boys had to navigate um, a difficult step and do this in a different way. And they've managed to do that. And they've managed to do that in their high school laboratory. We're trying to demonstrate that this very expensive drug that's made in very expensive laboratories in the United States called Daraprim, which was recently hiked up in price by a billionaire who bought the patent, Martin Shrekley, is actually very easy to make and very cheap and reliable to do, even in a school laboratory, with schoolboy technology, with cheap chemicals. There are definitely a few obstacles along the way. We had to try a lot of different reactions with a lot of different like different chemicals, but eventually we got there. It took a bit over a year. It was quite first. It was definitely disbelief. We didn't. We spent so long, and there were so many obstacles that we kind of not lost hope, but we kind of like it. It, was, it surprised us. Oh, we actually made this material, and this could actually help people out there. Yeah. Oh, that one. So the blue one. Um, 